to KVCC's Food Innovation Center. Today we're in the greenhouse by our aquaponics system. Um, an aquaponics system is one that involves raising fish, um, and we feed the fish, and the fish waste is used to feed our plants in our system. In our system, we have tilapia. We have three generations of tilapia right now. We have our oldest ones in the furthest tank that we've been harvesting out of and selling here in Kalamazoo. We have two tanks of adolescent fish, which will be ready for harvest when we're finished with the first tank. And then we have a tank of young fish that um, are busy eating and growing as well. The system is a recirculating system, so the only water we lose out of the system comes from what the plants absorb. Um, and the plants also absorb the nutrients from the water, which cleans the water so that it can be recirculated back to the fish. We have two different systems that we're using to grow plants. Um, our first one is an NFT system. NFT is a shortcut for nutrient film technique. So that we plant cilantro in these gutters here. The cilantro is seeded in rock wool, which is a limestone product. Um, we start it in our grow room until it sprouts. And when it's ready for a transplant, we bring it out and plant it out into the system. The plants sit in these channels. The water goes in through one end, flows down the channel to the end where it's collected into a main pipe, and then it recirculates back into the system that returns to the fish. Um, we can pull one of these plants out. You can see the roots growing out of the bottom. Right there you can see it. Um, and the roots just sit in the water at the bottom, which is only about a quarter of an inch deep. So that's why it's considered a film. It's just a thin film of water that the roots are absorbing from. This is our deep water hydroponic system. Deep water is, is an, a system where the plants sit on a raft on the surface and there's a certain amount of water underneath, underneath the rafts. Um, it's co considered deep water regardless of the actual depth. You could have it be four inches deep or you could have it be four feet deep and it would all be considered deep water. The plants are started in little coconut core pods and when, again, when they're ready for transplants, we bring them out and stick them in these rafts. You can see the roots growing underneath the raft right here, sitting in the water, absorbing water and nutrients so the plants can grow. This is our hydroponic tomato production. Um, these plants have been in here since January. They were seeded in early December. The way this system works is that um, We've planted them in three gallon pots with a soilless media, a potting mix, um, and they are on a drip irrigation system. So many times a day, the irrigation system turns on, it adds the fertilizer, the nutrients to the water, and each one gets fed by an individual spike in the pot. And it supplies all the nutrients that the tomatoes need to grow and thrive. And, um, and as you can see, we're about due for another harvest today. So we'll be doing that a little later. We're in the grow room of the Food Innovation Center right now. Um, in here we have our um, grow stacks, we refer to them as. They're a hydroponic growing system, or again, it's a deep water hydroponic system. So the water, the plants are being grown in a raft that's sitting on top of a nutrient rich water. You can see the, these were planted about a week ago. They were seeded three weeks before that, so they're still fairly young. They have about three and a half more weeks to go before they're ready for harvest. I'm going to lift up one of the rafts so that you can see the roots growing underneath. You can, you can see there's very few roots in this. These plants are not as mature as the ones in the aquaponics system. The way the system works is there's a reservoir on the bottom which pumps it up to our top layer. We have four layers of plants growing in this stack. The water fills up the first bed. There's a riser that when it's reached the set depth, it overflows down to the next layer, filling up that one, flowing down to the next one, flowing down to the next one, and then returning to the reservoir. You can hear the gurgling sound in the backward, in the background. We've cut the risers just slightly so that they draw air in along with the water, and that helps oxygenate the water because plant roots need oxygen as well. They don't need much, but they need some air in the water um, so that they don't rot. 
This is where we start all of our young plants. Um, we're seeding lettuce on a weekly basis, both for the grow stacks and for our aquaponics system. We seed them in coconut core pods, which is a byproduct from harvesting coconut. These are seeds that were seeded one week ago, and they just put out their cotyledons at this point, which is their first seed leaves. You can see they've just begun to grow. We have some seedlings that are a little more mature. Here, these are the ones ready to go in this week into our systems. And it's Monday morning right now, so we're just getting started for the week. And then we have one generation, which is between those two, which is over there on the bench as well.